Hi Cancer, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what does your person not tell you? What does your person not tell you? Now, this is going to be in regards to how they feel about you, what their intentions are with you, and what actions they plan on taking towards you. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Just sneeze. Sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading and might not resonate with everyone. But if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's see. Spirit, what does this person not tell Cancer? Whoever it is that Cancer is connecting to in love, what does this person not tell Cancer in regards to how they feel about Cancer? How they really feel about cancer. Alright, Cancer, first card we have for you, Six of Swords in Reverse, Eight of Wands in Reverse, Ten of Swords Upright, Ace of Pentacles Upright, the Lover's card Upright, and the Ten of Cups Upright. Beautiful energy here. Two of Cups in Reverse at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, sorry for the rooster, that was loud. Sorry about that. This person wants to return back to you, Cancer. We have the Six of Swords in reverse, so there could have been a separation here between you two. Um, I do feel like this person has been holding back from communicating with you here with the Ace of Eight of Wands in reverse. Um, Ten of Swords, there was some sort of ending here. It was a very painful ending, a very painful separation for this person. Um... Yeah, they went through a difficult period of time here, feeling alone, feeling um, isolated, feeling abandoned. Um, but I do feel like they're getting out of a place of darkness and they're moving towards a place of light with the Ten of Cups here. And I feel like this person is coming towards you. They want to have a new beginning with you in love and co in commitment. So rude. The rooster is very rude. <laughs> They want to have a new beginning in commitment with you. Um, the lovers, they feel like you are their soulmate. They see you as their soulmate. They feel a strong spiritual and physical connection with you. Attraction. Um, yeah, lots of love, lots of passion here. And this person sees a future with you. Sorry for the rooster. <laughs> I can't control the rooster, so sorry. They see a future with you. They see a happily ever after with you, with the Ten of Cups. This is marriage, home, family, you know, everything you could ever want. I feel like this person wants everything with you. They want to have everything with you. Okay, so their feelings for you are really good. Really positive um, energy there. Okay, let's look at um, what are their intentions and desires with you, even though we pretty much saw that, but maybe we can get a little bit more detail. Eight of Cups and Ten of Swords. Maybe this is someone who you walked away from, Cancer. Or maybe they walked away from you. You two had a you two had a difficult separation. Hmm. All right, what are this pers person's intentions and desires with cancer?
Okay, we have Ace of Cups here. Four of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. The World card in reverse. Hmm. You know, this person might be someone who needs to apologize to you, Cancer. I feel like maybe you two separated because of them. You know, maybe it was it was their fault that you two separated or that you two didn't work out at the beginning. And I feel like this person, they owe you an apology and I feel like they know that. And they're working on, on coming towards you to to redeem themselves with you or to make to make it up to you. Um, to prove themselves to you. Because maybe they weren't completely honest in the past with the Seven of Swords and they didn't really give you the the time and the energy that you deserved. Um, maybe the, the relationship was one-sided at the beginning. Um, they, didn't, they didn't offer you love or they didn't offer you a new beginning in love. They kind of maybe took you for granted. But I do feel like that's completely changing because I do feel like they want now to have a long-term commitment with you. They see your value. They see your worth. And they want to work on creating stability with you and creating a strong foundation with you. And they want to make it up to you, I feel. And they want to redeem themselves with, with you. And they want to make up for whatever lies they told you or for whatever... Um, you know, um, negative energy that they caused in this relationship. Okay. <clears throat> All right, let's look at um, what actions they're taking, they will take towards you. Spirit, please show me what is this person not tell you, tell, what is this person not tell cancer in regards to what actions they plan on taking towards cancer? Okay, actions they plan on taking towards you, Cancer. We have here the Chariot. Ooh, you might be dealing with another Cancer for some of you. Yeah, there's this person's coming towards you um, at full speed, I want to say. The Chariot can be a very quick-moving card. So I feel like they're going to maybe pop up unexpectedly here. What else? We have the Seven of Cups. Uh, I want I want to say they they're coming towards you to confess their love for you. It's like they're not sure how you're going to receive them. They're not sure how you're going to receive them, but they're going to they're going to try to to take action towards you and to win you over. To sweep you off your feet, I want to say. What else? Yeah, Ace of Swords. It's like they're going to be very honest with you. Um, they're going to be very honest about their feelings for you. And I feel like this person is hoping that you won't shut them down or block them. Because I feel like this person is not sure how you're going to... Um, react but I do feel like this this person is tired of waiting or they're t or they're tired of being in a place of 
of um, inactivity, of, of things being stuck. They don't want things to be stuck anymore. They don't want um, things to drag out anymore. It's like, it's almost like they're taking a leap of faith here. What else? Yeah, tower card. Tower card. It's kind of that energy of someone who's like, they're, they're going to go for it. Like, let me just go for it. Let me just stop thinking about it. Let me just take a chance. I do feel like the tower represents fears here. I feel like this person's very nervous or they're, they're very scared about moving towards you. Um, they're not sure if they're doing the right thing or not. But they feel like, you know, they need to um, be honest here with you. What else? Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they're nervous. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they're not sure if you're going to reject them. They're scared that you're going to reject their offer or reject what they what they have to say to you. And with the lovers upright, this is someone who's very much um, connected to you. They feel a strong connection with you. And they don't want to let you go. They, the Knight of Pentacles is here, so... I feel like they're moving towards you um, to offer you something committed here. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to let you go. Um, but they're scared how you're going to react. And um, I feel like this fear has been holding them back. But I, I feel like they're not going to let themselves be held, held back anymore. Um, and they're just going to take a leap of faith and go for it with you. All right, Cancer, that's what I see. I hope this resonated. If it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.